God. I don't need you to tell me. Thank you very much. Move on. Move on. Hallelujah. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe on him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. We got all sorts of people coming up, wanting to tell us that we're heretics, that we're preaching some wrong gospel, and that we don't understand what the Catholic Church is saying. There are so many things that are wrong, that are being preached wrong, that are being done wrong, wrongly. And people just want to criticize. They want to say, I'm not Christian. But you know what? I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe what he's done for me, what he's done for mankind. I believe in the Bible. And it says in Timothy that every word is inspired by the Holy Spirit. And it says in Revelation that nobody will add to or take away anything from the Bible. And people want to come up and they want to argue. They want to argue theology and head knowledge and all this stuff and challenge the word of God and challenge the truth and the doctrine that God has made holy and righteous and his word does not change his word will not pass away there's no point in man thinking he knows better than God and creating traditions of men and saying it's all right and saying you got to live by that that the sacraments are going to get you to heaven Jesus didn't say that. He said, you must be born of his spirit. He said that it is by grace we are saved through faith and not by works, lest any man should boast. Very important. And this man who was just talking to me is boasting about his works. He's boasting about theology. He's boasting about the Catholic Church doctrine. And I'm not against anybody or any church or anything else. I am for the word of God. I am for the truth. And I believe the truth and the truth testifies to my spirit that it's true. And I will not be told by people who have living in theology, living in the past, living in the tradition of man and expecting it to be true. And there are so many things that can be looked at within the traditional churches that are not of God. And people defend them and they get upset with people. They call me a wolf in sheep's clothing. They call me all sorts of things. But I am speaking the word of God. I am speaking what Jesus said. And I am speaking salvation, deliverance, healing, not theology, and traditions of man and sacraments and all these things that people believe will get them to heaven. Jesus didn't say that. He didn't come up with a long list of traditions of man that are going to get you to heaven. And vain, vain repetitions of people praying prayers over and over and over again. He spoke about it. It's not about that. It's about having a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's the important one. Nothing to do with church. People defend the church. Forget the church. Get your relationship with Jesus Christ. A personal relationship with him and the Holy Spirit. Jesus went back to heaven and he sent his Holy Spirit into our hearts so that we would have a counsellor and a comforter and a friend and a guide and the Holy Spirit will take us all into sanctification. That's what it's about, people. So I will not listen to people. I asked the man to move on. He was adamant that I was a, a wolf in sheep's clothing and that I needed to repent and I needed to go to the Catholic Church and understand that some Eucharistic miracle, that the bread turned into heart tissue and all this rubbish that he comes up with. And I said to him, what if I go down and I get any of those pieces of wafer that are being handed out to people as the body of Christ and I took it to a scientist, I should be able to get any one of them and take it and get it analysed, and it should be the body of Christ. It should be flesh, and it's not. It's all rubbish. I don't know how they came up with it, but they've made up this story to get gullible people to believe in the Catholic Church. And I'm not here to promote that at all. I'm here to promote Jesus Christ and him crucified. And it's him crucified and him rising again that gives us a path to heaven. Nothing else. Come and talk to me. 
You've got to get this right in your heart. It's all about Jesus, not about religion, not about tradition of man, not about church and church doctrine. It's not about that. It's about Jesus and your relationship with him. And people want to argue. They have been brainwashed into thinking that the traditions of man is going to get you a pass to heaven. It will not. It cannot. And some people are going to be terribly upset when they're standing before God and they're going to say, oh, I, I thought the church would do it for me. I thought the traditions of man, I thought going through all these sacraments and praying the stations of the cross and all those things would get me to heaven and praying the rosary hundreds and hundreds and thousands of times over and over again. It will not do it for you. And you cannot pray to idols. You cannot pray to saints. You cannot pray to statues. You pray to the Father through Jesus Christ. That's the only way. That's the true way to pray by the Holy Spirit and no other way. People think they can wear God down by vain repetition. They think they can just continue to pray over and over again and that God's going to get worn down. He's going to give them what they ask for. It doesn't work that way, people. Those that are led by the Spirit of God, they're the sons of God. They're the ones who, who pray according to his will. Hallelujah. So this is what we need to do. Get our hearts right before God. That's the thing, people. In Jesus' name, he's, he's the one it's all about. Get your heart right in now, in Jesus' name.